the red carpet. Now how about a nice smile that I can remember until next year? To see the works considered worthy of Hollywood's highest honor. Now I have a chance to do something I know how to do. Please, may I do this for everybody? Spend Thursday night with Oscar. You can say anything you like to him as long as you put sir on the end of it. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on AMC. The happiest night of my life. Sex and Scandal sizzle under the sun at a main resort in Delmer Dave's steamy soap opera, A Summer Place, starring Dorothy McGuire and Richard Egan. Next. The following is being sponsored by De Beers, the world's diamond experts since 1888. There is something in this world that can express the way we feel. The more brilliant its sparkle, the deeper its fire, the more it says what words cannot. The Diamond Solitaire. A diamond is forever. De Beers. During the 1950s, the big Hollywood studios were beginning to realize that featuring young actors in their movies would bring a whole new audience into the theaters. Teenagers. And the movie that we're about to see was directed at that audience by starring Sandra Dee and soon-to-be teen idol Troy Donahue in his first featured part. But while the movie was successful, the music is what really became popular. The theme from A Summer Place was written by the great Max Steiner, who wrote the score for King Kong, Casablanca, and Gone with the Wind. It was recorded by Percy Faith and was released along with the film in September of 1959, but it didn't catch on right away. About six months later, it hit number one on the Billboard charts and stayed there for the next nine weeks. It's been a standard ever since. It even turned up on screen again as the underscoring of a scene in Tim Burton's Batman when Jack Nicholson was romancing Batman's girlfriend, Vicki Vale. Here are Sandra Dee and Troy Donahue with Dorothy McGuire in A Summer Place. <laughs> 